This is Operation Neptune. And this is Raven. I am playing war mode. It's like, um, this is the D-Day scenario. So, Soldiers, the Allied invasion begins with us. Our mission is to secure the beach. Here we go, storm of the beach. Artillery guns, providing heavy cover fire to the beach. Get to cover, clear the shingle. A little slow down there. That dual shock's low. Let's see, you go over here. Can't go there. This guy's gonna blow the... And killed himself. The I'm gonna clear the bunker. First part of it. the enemy bunker. Push the beach ah. Until you take the bunkers, you still spawn on the beach, which is extremely dangerous. There's two machine gun nests in each of the bunkers. So I prefer, it doesn't really matter what side you take first. Where you took the right side. I'm gonna take this flamethrower. You don't get score streaks on here because it would make it too easy. You do get a uh, flamethrower the, the drop of a care package. So from here, the bunkers you're gonna push onto the radar room. <clears throat> they destroy ten pieces of equipment that can be done by grenade by shooting at the um, radar. Uh, thanks, guys. Save my life. The best bet is to pop a grenade down there. Um, you can go around. That's like the main entrance. And then you can build the wall for the defender. Destroy the college equipment. Out of all the war maps, uh, Neptune is my favorite. There's only three war maps though. Uh, they had the one in the beta. Stick to the objective. So we're gonna uh, so you have two of ten. You have about like four minutes to do it. That guy's building the wall. With the... So you can just do this and blow it up. And then they put this uh, bob wire here too. So the defenders have quite a few options. Destroy. 
pretty much once uh, the attackers get past the beach, you don't have any problems. The beach is like the hardest part. We have 7 to 10. Killed the guy near the door. He's suicide on himself. We have 7 of 10, so we have to get through. I don't know why they keep. And it might. There we go, 8 of 10. One minute until enemy reinforcements. There's two left. Come on guys, we can do this. It's annoying. And it's not that hard as you can see to destroy equipment. Where is the... Uh, level two. We have one left. Uh, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> 17 minutes left. <laughs> oh, we actually did, okay. So when you push them back uh, from the radar room, you have to take out the artillery. The only thing I don't like about this map is each artillery, ha there's A and B, take three bombs apiece. So here we go. Destroy the artillery guns. Move. I'm just gonna go up in here. There, you got explosives on there. Is that a tank? Okay, I didn't see a tank last time, but uh... Apparently, you can put a tank out. The enemy defused our bomb. Get to the artillery case base. Enemy flanks are on the battlefield. Our bombs planted on the artillery gun. Place the third one here, and we'll take a. They have about 15 seconds to defuse a bomb. Nice. So we got a. You can apparently walk over the sandbag, like I just did. Um. <laughs> A little bit of lag. Lag's not too bad on here, though. 
There you go. So we got is B. It's nine seconds left. It's good to spam grenades over there. It's hard if you don't spread out your uh, your team though. Uh, take of trying to show you guys. Four seconds. Very placed. They give you about four minutes, which is a good enough time. The attackers have the advantage though up here too, just like they do on the beach. It's like well balanced for the most part. If you can pin them down on the beach or, oh, or hold them down there. seconds we have two we can't make it it's impossible unless we pull it out this is the last objective too I hit someone I mean it's possible we can pull through uh, the tank they have basically three machine gun nests too over there There's a tank and the one left. That we lost this round, but we can get it back as the attackers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna try to push. Just kind of see if I can get someone. Oh. <laughs> so we lost that one. Each round takes about 12, 15 minutes. It can go faster. It's halftime, and they killed us on the beach. At 14 kills and four demolitions, and it shows where you failed and what you got. So it tells you how long it took. Two minutes on that one. So. I typically like the right side just because it's more easily defendable. Oh, no, the left side I meant. Um, so there's four machine guns up here. Yeah, there are actually three on this side. Yeah, 
And because you're using a machine gun, you only get 10 per kill on here. Enemy flamethrower observed! Get to cover! They already made it through the thing if we can just pin them down. There's a sniper over there. Oh, someone's under a bunker. I'm totally not. Yeah. To the f <laughs> now they're gonna get smart <laughs> sniping. Get out. <laughs> that forced the sniper out of the cover. I guess apparently. So you can't take it down the ladder. Which I didn't know earlier. I'm gonna do. Because I find that is super annoying. Oh, uh, I got sniped. I'm gonna try it though. Do do do. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. <laughs> I got sniped. No one's going in the right bunker. <laughs> I'm too afraid of the sniper. The allies are securing the bunker. Uh, just got a sniper over here. There's the other one over here somewhere. That was it. That's what I mean, if you can hold them on the beach, One minute left. the advantage is to the attackers. Like even though they're picking us up sniping, you can push the snipers out. They're not gonna let me do it. <laughs> We're also gonna stop them on the beach though. There's no recovery for them. Ten seconds left. <laughs> and that's what happens if you stop them on the beach. It takes six minutes. 
It can be done. You have three machine guns on the left, two on the right. And you can, I guess, blow up the ladder. The attacking team has two or three entrances to from the beach when they blow up the gate and the bar. This is Ravens Bloodless. Thanks for watching Operation Neptune. Don't forget to like and su subscribe on my Twitch channel and YouTube. Thanks for watching.